these dips that come in and out. The truth is, is that dips are going to come in and out all the time because if you're, you know, if you're moving in the world and you're interacting in the world and you are, you know, <laughs> feeling things and you're going to have them, you're going to think of things and things are going to hit you. So the key is, is to recognize it and then you have a decision as to whether you're going to stay in that emotional dip because sometimes, and this may sound kind of harsh if you are someone right now who is dealing with a lot of emotion and feeling kind of stuck, sometimes it's easier to stay in those emotional dipped places because it can feel really hard or unimaginable to be able to bring yourself up and out of it. So this is why I work with people on catching it. So if you can learn to catch within a few moments of when you're starting to dip emotionally and you feel it in your body, when those thoughts are starting to come, you can actually begin to change it. Do you have a choice then? You don't feel like you don't have a choice. So for example, on my walk, I was like, oh, wow, I was just fine a minute ago. I was listening to the birds, I was looking at the sky, I was thinking about good things, and then this thing popped into my head, and oh, and then I got you know sad, and then I got worried, and then right, and I thought, oh, this is silly. I mean, I'll say that to myself sometimes, just to kind of bring myself light about it. I'm not making fun of my emotions or thinking that I, they're not important, but I go, this is silly. I have, I don't need to go to this place. So I take a deep breath and it may take a little bit, but I recognize it and I start to bring my attention back. So um, the cool thing is, is that, you know, if, if you can be a little bit visual about it, it's like you've, when you go into those emotional places and you start to dip, you kind of have to bring yourself back, bring yourself back, bring yourself back, because you've, you've gone away from your center. You've gone away from who you are. So you just kind of bring yourself back to who you are. And if you're having a hard time knowing who you are, finding who you are, then the best thing to do that I found is to take your attention for a moment and focus on something really beautiful. You know, I was outside, so I looked up at a tree right away in the sky because there was these really pretty clouds today. And um, I went for the experience of feeling the sun. I heard a bird, I tuned into that. So you, you want to find that, you know, if you're in your house and you have a plant or you have a beautiful painting that you like or, or you know, a smell, aromatherapy or um, a candle or incense or something, you, you want to bring yourself back into nice things because that is who you are. You are beautiful, wonderful, aligned, divine being. You may not always feel that way. <laughs> we may not always feel that the world is that way, but the more we can bring ourselves back to that, because that is really what's there.